listening to our fantastic entrepreneurs last evening. Today's schedule promises an exciting lineup of discussions around uh, e the e taking an ecosystem view to inclusive development. Uh, we have about 24 enterprises from across India and Africa who have displayed uh, their interesting ideas outside. So make sure to uh, take some time out to catch up with them. I'd like to also call out our partners, the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves, who have uh, brought in two of their very exciting enterprises who are also part of our showcase. So please do meet up with them. Um, and, and if you guys are not yet excited, I hope you are excited. But just to make it even better, we've got 60 speakers joining us from close to 10 countries to share their thoughts ideas, plans on accelerating entrepreneurship-led development in the African continent. And let's first begin by inviting Aprajita Agrawa, director of Sankar Forum, to share with us some highlights from yesterday's um, conversations. Aprajita leads the Sankar Forum initiative, which is Asia's largest social enterprise and investing pl platform. She also focuses on leveraging the platform to expand uh, IntelliCup's work with early stage social enterprises in South and East Asia, South and East Asia as well as Sub-Saharan Africa. In a career spanning over 12 years, Aprajita has built expertise in creating and scaling up knowledge and research products, building and managing multicultural teams, and designing large-scale interventions to address challenges of social enterprise development. Let's welcome Aprajita. Thank you, McKenna. Thank you, Kanika. Jambo Nairobi, how's everyone doing today? It's great to see you all here. Um, I know we had a long day yesterday, and a pretty enjoyable one, too. So I'm, I'm really pleased to welcome you on behalf of IntelliCap, uh, UK, HL Foundation, and all our partners um, to the Sankalp Africa Summit, uh, day two. Um, once again, you know, my job here is to really recap what happened yesterday. And I've been flitting in and out of session, so a lot of my notes here are dependent on the information that some of our volunteers and, and people who were taking notes at different sessions uh, did yesterday. You know, when we started planning, pl uh, planning for the summit here uh, back in October um, and zeroed in on the theme of taking an ecosystem view of inclusive development in Africa, you know, our conversations took us to about 60-odd organizations that are working in, um, in, in Kenya, in countries like Nigeria, Uganda, Tanzania, and, and, and several other countries in Africa. And almost all these conversations corroborated our view um, of the fact that there is so much happening in Africa and it's so exciting, um, but not enough to bring everybody together. Um, so we, when we started planning, we thought this was going to be an excellent opportunity for us to really bring the ecosystem together, all the players. And I think um, what we saw yesterday in the room here, we had about 400 of, of you in the room yesterday. Um, and I think we'll be about 450 people a little later in the day today. Um, what we saw um, was very inspiring, very humbling for us, because we saw about 200 SME participants here. Um, we saw over 60 investors joined us from around the world. Um, almost all of these are looking at, are already either investing in Africa or are looking at investing in Africa. Um, we had close to uh, 30 um, representatives from the development finance, financial institutions, um, and we have uh, a large number of people who are working as accelerators and enablers in the space and are really working hard towards supporting early stage ventures, a lot of, a lot of uh, those that you see outside in the innovation showcase and that you heard yesterday. Yesterday we had, uh, we started off the morning with a few pre-summit workshops and sessions. Um, we had a total of five sessions before we kicked off the main summit. Um, our first session focused on uh, we had two parallel sessions. Our first session focused on the impact measurement for funds, where we talked about the rating tools that uh, we've been using and how funds, how impact funds should be looking at measuring their impact um, more realistically. And a lot of interesting conversations came out of, out of that session, especially around uh, the need to be more rational, the need to look at uh, impact in a more contextual way in which funds operate in different geographies. Um, 
while this session was on, in, in another room here, we had, a, uh, we had a session focused on the new models for incubating high-impact SMEs. And uh, about eight incubators, uh, from around, incubators and accelerators from around the world joined us. Um, this also had two uh, incubators from, from Africa. And the conversations there, and I attended quite a bit of that session, were quite interesting because each incubator is, in some sense, essentially trying to do very similar, similar work in the geographies that they operate in and trying to be, give a very a seamless way of growth for, for early stage ventures um, and give them access to the right resources and, and techniques. And it was very, uh, I think one of the key outcomes that came out of that session was that all the incubators decided to come together and create a working group that's going to work on, on sharing knowledge and sharing resources and, and really work on creating collaborations that will hopefully change the course of how incubation and acceleration around the world is looked at for, for SME development. Um, our, um, following this, we had two workshops that were focused on SMEs. Um, both these workshops, the first one focused on, on business planning and how early stage ventures should look at uh, business modeling and business planning. And the second one was focused on raising the first investment, really targeted at, at the SMEs that were there in the room who were, who were really trying to understand how they should go out to the market to raise capital, either through debt or equity. Um, and the last pre-summit workshop that we did was on the role of governments and development financial institutions in catalyzing capital and supporting social innovation. And again, a very vibrant discussion uh, where all the, DF, all the development financial institutions that are working in the region were there to talk about uh, what, does it, uh, what, what is really the role of government and how can, uh, how can different uh, government development institutions sort of work towards creating a more robust uh, mechanism for working with, uh, on furthering social innovation. Um, a lot of these conversations have been captured in, in more detailed notes that we hope to share after the summit when uh, our team gets a little bit more time to assimilate all the learnings and, and put these together into a form of a report. We will also have videos of most of these sessions available uh, through our YouTube channel uh, and on our website. Um, and then finally, we kick-started the discussion, uh, kick-started the summit officially yesterday. We had, um, <clears throat> sorry, we had the Indian High Commissioner come in and talk about the ties that India and Africa, especially India and Kenya, share. Um, and, we, and, and that was then followed by pitches, the elevator pitches from the 12 high-impact SMEs that were the finalists for the Sankalp Awards in Africa. This was very exciting. I know a lot of you and I particularly enjoyed how Jeff uh, actually took all the finalists through the elevator pitches and, and asked them really relevant questions and all of us got a flavor of what the SMEs in, in Africa are, are doing. For, we, had, we chose our three winners. Our jury was really kind enough to share um, their insights about the process and about what they saw. Uh, we also heard a few commitments being made Eric from Angel Fair talked about taking six of our finalists uh, to Angel Fair, the first Angel Fair forum in, in Lagos um, in the next couple of months. And some of those commitments were really exciting and are actually opportunities that SMEs are, are really seeking from, from the forum itself. Um, again, um, you know, and, and I think post that, I hope you've all had good networking at the cocktail reception that we'd hosted. Again, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail right now except <clears throat> except what I've already mentioned right now, what, what we would love to hear later in the day is from all of you, um, tell us about what, you, what were your learnings and what, were your, uh, what did you find exciting about the forum, where you thought we could improve, where you think we could actually bring more, more context um, <clears throat> and, and more, a, a more nuanced discussion into the room. We'd love to hear that from you. And with that, actually, I'll hand it back to Kanika and McKenna, and, um, and we can actually get on with our first panel. Uh, again, very excited to have you all here, um, and we look forward to continue the conversations that we started yesterday. Thank you.